Today I'm going to show you a quick demo of Integrated ML. What is Integrated ML? Well, it is a new feature of InterSystems Iris, and it enables SQL developers and analysts to quickly, easily build and use machine learning models all in SQL. So let's uh, take a look. Uh, what we have here is a uh, SQL editor, my favorite, dBeaver, and we're connected to InterSystems Iris instance uh, using JDBC. Uh, so we're going to look at uh, this Diabetes 10K uh, data set. As you can see, um, well, first off, as you can see, we've got 10,000 rows, uh, but then we can browse a little bit of the data. And you can see on the left at all the columns that we have here, uh, it's information about patients and their visits to the hospital, uh, as well as the medications they're taking. And the objective is to um, learn to predict one particular column, readmitted. Um, and this is a, uh, an indication that a patient uh, got treated but came back, got readmitted to a hospital, uh, which uh, wastes money and resources, uh, which is a very critical uh, thing in these times. Okay, so how do you use integrated ML on this problem? Well, the first step with integrated ML is to create a model. Uh, and this uh, doesn't actually do any machine learning, but it sets up the problem for the machine learning uh, algorithms. Uh, you have to give it a name, and then you tell it which column you're predicting, and then you give it some default data uh, that you'll use in training. And that gives information to integrated ML about the columns that uh, are going to be used as the input data for that model. So now that that's done, you can actually train it. This uh, particular data set takes a couple minutes. Uh, I have a very efficient uh, default AutoML engine, uh, which means automated machine learning, which is going to take all this data, as we saw, there's a lot of different types of data here. Um, it's a lot of different types of data, and machine learning algorithms uh, don't necessarily work very well on text um, unless you do some pre-processing. So integrated ML and AutoML um, automates that process of taking some input data, cleaning it up a bit, transforming it so that the uh, machine learning algorithms can work on it well, and then actually running the machine learning algorithms to, um, to build a model. Um, and so all that's happening under the, in, the, in the background with integrated ML, and uh, that makes it very simple to use. So once you've trained a model, uh, it's now able to be called or invoked from SQL. And we get a very simple function called predict, and you can sprinkle this in any number of, uh, anywhere in your select statements you want to do. Here's a, here's a query that I'm showing. Um, that not only gets the prediction uh, from the model, um, but also we have a function called probability that will give an indication of how confident the model is on the prediction. Another thing we're doing in this query is that we're using predict in a WHERE clause. And so we're actually specifically selecting rows of the table where the prediction doesn't match the answer. And this can be a way that when you uh, look at the data and look at these particular rows, you can maybe get an idea of which, uh, which types of patients and which types of, of um, data gives a, gives a problem to your model. And then you can do some refinement, maybe figure out different data that you can bring in uh, to bear on it. And once you put that data together, go through the process again of training and evaluating the model.